mounting casualties on both sides as Turkey and Syria trade tit-for-tat airstrikes. After a series of strikes on Turkish positions this week in Idlib, Ankara confirmed a military operation against Bashar al-Assad's forces, adding that it had shot down two Syrian jets. Earlier Sunday, Damascus announced that it was closing the airspace around Idlib, and that any aircraft entering the area would be shot down. Turkey said this wouldn't deter its offensive, but stressed that it wanted to avoid any confrontation with Russia. The Spring Shield operation, which was launched following the abominable attack in Idlib on February 27th, continues successfully. We have neither intention nor a plan to confront Russia. No direct confrontation, perhaps, but relations between Ankara and Moscow have rarely been so tense. Russia is a key ally of Bashar al-Assad's regime and has been bombing a wide range of targets alongside the Syrian Air Force throughout their offensive on Idlib. As a result, close to a million Syrians have been displaced in the span of just months, fleeing towards the Turkish border. On Saturday, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan demanded that Russia stop backing the Syrian offensive. And this coming Thursday, Erdogan is expected to meet with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin in the hopes of de-escalating the situation, an outcome that the Kremlin has already warned will be difficult to achieve.